Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we will see how you can set up Jenkins project for Git version semantic versioning. We will have our repository in Bitbucket and we will build our code using Jenkins pipeline. Integrating Git version into Jenkins build varies based on the project type, either freestyle or pipeline. In this session, we will go with pipeline. For more details, you can go to gitversion.net under build servers Jenkins you'll get information on how to set up for Jenkins. And here, if you scroll down, we'll see pipeline projects. So these are the ones which will run using multi-branch pipeline. And we'll do this type of setup and see how semantic git versioning can be generated for different types of branches in Jenkins build. So now I will run you through this workflow. Here, you'll have master branch with starting version as 0.1.0. We'll create a feature branch out of it make some changes, commit them, create a pull request for the feature branch. Once passes, merge it to master and the feature version will bump this minor version of master to 0 0.2.0. Now after merging feature, we can check out a bug fix branch, make some bug fixes, check it in, create a pull request for the fix. And once it merges with master, you can see it will update the patch version, which is this third version here. And the version will be 0.2.1. At some point when you are ready to update the major version, that time you have to just check out another branch, call it as major, make a commit and check it in pull request once merged into master will create a version which will update the major part of it. So it will become 1.0.0. And after that, you can again check out feature branch and bug fix to keep on getting the semantic versioning from Git version. So before we start, let me show you the Bitbucket version which I'm running. It's Bitbucket version 7.19.2 and I'm running Jenkins version here down bottom you see. 2.319.1. Also, I am running Bitbucket server in one of the containers in Docker desktop along with Jenkins running in container in my Docker desktop on my laptop. So now let me show you what I have in my repository in Bitbucket. This is the master branch. My project is called Go Project and I have created three files there. This is just a document.txt file. It could be any project file which you have in your project. Doesn't matter because I'm going to show you only how you can generate a Git version for your whole build. So the important file is this git version.yaml file, which is configuration for your Git versioning and the Jenkins file, which will build your project. So let's see this one git version.yaml. Now there are different modes which you can use. I'm using mainline development mode. Branches are a feature branch and a bug fix branch. Very simple. Now in Jenkins file, I'm starting to use any agent. And the first stage which I've created is just to show what branch name is there and all the environment variables of that branch. Then I'm creating a master stage. And if the branch will be master, then only this will get executed. Here I am again printing all the environment variables and I'm generating an output from Git version to get these values. I'm also echoing Git version, same version, major minor patch version, or if you want full semantic version. So this will be echoed. And this is what you can use to set up version for your project. Similarly, there are other stages. If it is a major branch, then it will execute this portion. If it is a feature branch, then it will execute this one and give you the versioning for feature branch. If it is a bug fix branch, then it will give you versioning for the bug fix branch. Now let's see in the Jenkins pipeline how you have to create and what you have to configure in Jenkins pipeline. So here, if you go to dashboard, I created this multi-branch Bitbucket pipeline and I can show you what I have configured here. So display name, I just gave multi-branch Bitbucket and then in branch source, we have to give credentials for Bitbucket, which you have to create. We have to create a Bitbucket server instance. So I just named it as Bitbucket server project name. And this is the URL through which it can connect to my project, repository name. No more changes here. Then I added uh, discover branches behavior and discover tags behavior. Also added advanced clone behavior where we have checked fetch tags and honor ref spec on initial clone and specified the ref spec as this. This you will find is also mentioned in the git version.net, which in the beginning you can go through it and understand this part. Next, no changes here. Uh, build configuration, just specified the Jenkins file. It's automatically done actually. Now for getting the webhook trigger, I check this box and I have check both this all pushes and pull request. So this way you don't need to create the webhook in Bitbucket. Jenkins will by itself create this webhook in Bitbucket. And rest I have left it as is to create this multi-branch pipeline. Now here for creating this Bitbucket server instance, you have to go to dashboard, manage 
Jenkins configure system and if you scroll down you will see here Bitbucket server integration this is where we have created this instance details Bitbucket server given the Bitbucket URL and personal token which you need to create in Bitbucket and then you have to test this connection and save it once you save this multi-branch pipeline and go back to Bitbucket go to repository settings under webhooks you should see an entry like this automatically created for triggering the webhooks so now let's see how this thing works we'll go to Jenkins pipeline for the master we'll just build manually for the first time just to show you what version master is showing up at present so if we go to console output scroll down here so here you can see in my Jenkins file I have mentioned just to show which section or which block of the code is getting executed so this is March master branch execution happening and initial version is 010 and you can see other stages are skipped because it did not match with the branch version so now we'll check it out and start with feature branch so first thing i'll do is pull master to make sure having the latest here now we'll check out a feature branch and we'll make some commit i will do some empty updates just for demo purpose i'll do one more and this time i'll add plus somewhere colon minor this particular string will actually indicate that the minor version has to be bumped because this is a feature branch i will push this now there are other ways to automate this updation of string for bumping up minor version and you can watch my one of the videos which i made earlier where you can create git hook which will help you to automate the string whenever commits are made to the feature so now let's check out the build so if you see here feature one let's go in this latest one let's check the console output and you can see here say this is feature branch execution and the version for the feature branch it is now 020 feet is the tag f1 is the branch name and dot two i need two commits so this is the version for now bug fix nothing is done and master nothing is done now let's create a pull request to merge this change so create pull request we'll select feature branch and you can see both the changes are there it has is create now let's say we are done review and we are ready to merge and i will i can just select here delete this particular branch after merge and you can see here it is simple merge no fast forward let's go to jenkins to check because now master branch will get triggered once it merges with master so we'll go to master and here it's running right now we'll go inside here and so output and if we scroll down you can see now master is executed and the version is showing is 020 now for master which means the minor version is bumped by one so the next step is to try the same thing with bug fix so let's go to console again and we'll check out our bug fix branch and we'll just update all the changes from master to bring it to latest and commit some change with an empty fix we'll do one more and maybe one more and then we'll add same way colon patch the string now we'll push this So bug fix branch is pushed. Let's go to Jenkins pipeline and see how it executes it. So bug fix probably this one is what it has executed. Console output. If you scroll down and you can see here 02.1. So and bug fix is the prefix and fix one is the branch and we did three commits to it. So this is the version for bug fix branch. Let's go back to Bitbucket and create a pull request to merge this bug fix create pull request we'll use bug fix branch and see all the commits continue create let's say review is done so we'll merge i will again select delete this bug fix branch once merge is done merge. and merge will trigger another master build and you can see it has started here and you can see here the version has become now 0.2.1 so it has Number. now let's see the last thing if you want to update the major version how this can be done we will check out a major branch let's call it m1 and we will update from master to get the latest 
and now we will push some commits. We we'll make this commit and let's push this change. Now this would have triggered another build which will run major branch. You can see here major branch and you, let's output here. So when the major branch runs and you can see here it says this is major branch execution and the major branch version has gone up. This is the prefix and the branch name here and only one commit we did. Now we'll go back to the bucket and create a pull request for this major branch to merge. This one change, continue, create, let's merge this. And I will delete once the merge is so merge is complete, it will trigger master build again. Let's see master, and you can see it has started and actually completed as well. Last node console output, and you can see here this is master branch, and the version now for master branch is 100 because we have updated the major version, so this is bigger one. And from here onwards, you can again check out, check in some features, then update minor version, check in some bug fixes, update patch version, and that way cycle goes on and you get automatic semantic versioning from git version i hope this helps you to set up your automatic semantic git versioning with jenkins pipeline and repository in bitbucket in my next session i will try to, to show how i ran my jenkins in container as well as bitbucket in container and then how made them communicate with each other using docker desktop thank you so much for watching this session i will meet you in the next one